Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glenox Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, I'd like to start talking about the cardiovascular system. Um, and the best way to start is to ask, what is it and why do we have one? So what is it? It's the heart. And the heart acts as a pump for blood. And that's basically the heart's only job. It pumps blood into the blood vessels, and that blood is then taken out to the tissues of the body. So the heart is a pump, and then we have the blood vessels. And the blood vessels are basically tubes that carry the blood. The two major types of blood vessels are arteries, and the definition of an artery is a blood vessel that carries blood away from the heart. The other one is veins, and the definition of a vein is a blood vessel that carries blood to the heart. So arteries carry blood from the heart out to the tissues of the body, veins carry blood from the tissues of the body and back to the heart. Another thing we can say about the circulatory system is it is a closed system and it is a circular system. Blood is pumped from the heart out to the body and then it returns from the body and back to the heart again. So it's kind of a circle. Why do we have one? So that was what it is. Why do you have one? The answer to that question is in order to deliver blood to the body's tissues. That blood will then carry nutrients with it, including oxygen, of course, the respiratory gas, but also glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, all kinds of nutrients that the tissues might need. And then that blood will also carry, so I should put here, carries nutrients and other substances for now is what I'll say. Those other substances, to give you one example, hormones that come from the endocrine glands, the blood delivers those hormones to the tissues where the hormone will have its effect. Um, but then also, this blood that's being pumped by this cardiovascular system takes away waste products. Waste products like the carbon dioxide, the other respiratory gas. The cells and the tissues take in the oxygen, use it to make energy or to get energy from food molecules. And then they produce CO2 as a result of that cellular metabolism. The CO2 becomes a waste product that has to be carried away from the tissues. So it takes away waste products. Um, for some tissues, there's also a product that's made by the tissue that then needs to be taken into circulation and delivered somewhere else in the body. So, for example, going back to the hormones, endocrine, or endocrine glands like the pancreas or the thyroid gland, they will release their hormones into the blood that's passing by them, and that the bloodstream will then carry that hormone to the target cells in another part of the body. So that's another kind of job of the vascular system. Important to note, um, in terms of taking nutrients to these tissues and taking away waste products, one of the things that this means is that in order for a tissue to be a living tissue, in order for it to stay alive, it must have blood flow. And that means that every bit of living tissue in us, from the fingertips to the ends of your toes to wherever, they all have a blood supply. No living cell can be 
much further than a couple of millimeters away from a capillary that's delivering this important nutrients and taking away the waste products from those cells. So in a nutshell, that's what is the vascular system or what the vascular system is, and it's why we need one. Thanks again for listening.